What? Yeah, look at the time. It's time for another video. Good day to you, my fellow adventurers throughout time and space. It is I, the Cowardly Time War. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. I just figured I would show you that you can come back in here, but there's absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, uh... Since I didn't get any videos out last week, because I was on a mini vacation, sadly I didn't get to see my friends, and my friend's grandparents' dog bit me on multiple occasions. My dog doesn't like me. Anyways, I don't like dogs in general, so whatever. Um... Yeah, I'll meet you back out of the Tower of Flanville maze area. But yeah, two videos every day to make up for the fact that I didn't get any videos out last week. Whether or not I'll be able to keep up that schedule is a different story. Um, yeah, that didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. I could have shown that, um, easily. Anyways, now we're heading... Back... Oh, no, sir. Ooh, right, I forgot about that. <laughs> I remember to do that after this battle. Oops. Who's the rose to finishing demons dance, I wonder? She's got to be getting close. Stunning hammer. It st stuns the enemy. It's a it's an attack item that stuns the enemy, and it's an automatic thing as well. So <laughs> only three more attempts. Only three more goes at demon's dance. Good. 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 This is what I needed to do. Therapy ring. And the bandit's ring. Important that I remember that now. Today, I'll get to an area that I will be grinding in. I'm gonna do some quick little shopping here. Be right back. Yeah. Okay. Let's continue on to the snow field. After one more battle, or maybe two. Oh, and I should mention that these um, turtles can drop a certain accessory. That's pretty good. I knew it. Snowfield. Yeah, I remember that correctly. I'm gonna get into one more battle up here. Mm. The Freeze Knight used an ability. Not nice. 
Well, I wasn't able to get Rose's Demon Dance off, and now she's just low on health. So I'm just going to continue the snow field, because there's an area to rest there. The enemy kept on countering. If I could get one more counter-free doing of um, Demon's Dance, I'd surely be able to finish it off. Let's see what we run into here. A single freeze night. Final Demon's Dance done. And there was even a counter in it. Hashel just went up a level. Hmm. I wish I could keep the Dragon Helm on Dart, but it's going to someone who needs it far more if I'm going to be using them in battle. Far more. Father's mother. Swedish. <laughs> Sorry. Just something funny my brain realized. Uh, I, I know, because I always call my Swedish grandmother more and more. That's the thing. I don't know if that's actual Swedish or Swedish slang. Also, did I sneeze on recording? I'm sorry if I did. Eh, I'm not feeling the best. Sneezing, sore throat, constantly feeling like my skin is on fire. I don't know what's up with that. Eh, whatever. But yeah, you're just gonna see Maru in combat. Wish I could get the uh, the accept got the accessory from the turtles. I'd even be more happy if I got the uh, accessory from this wild man, which is a Giganto ring, which is perfect for Maru, who's the opposite. Not so good for Kongol, who is a Giganto. Giganto Ring boosts some defense and attack by a lot. Oh yeah, and the bowling is perfect for learning additions on, because watch. Okay, that, didn't, that wasn't the best example. Point is, the bowling, the way it spins while being attacked, is perfect for learning certain additions, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Strike's gonna take a while. That's why I'm gonna grind here. Got an attack ball from the bowling. That'll be good money. Oh yeah, if you've forgotten, Lloyd is with us right now. I have something to tell you before we go to Velweb. It's about Diaz. I see. With this blizzard, it's not a bad time to take a break. And this is a resting point. This little cave that we are entering is a free resting point. Very helpful. The next area of Velweb also has a resting point. It's works a little bit differently than you would think for a resting point. Uh, and it's a little bit more annoying right now. Later in the game, when you 
when you return to Valweb for a side quest, that healing point isn't quite as annoying. Make the world regenerate. Regeneration of the... The regeneration of the world? Cool. The world is now rotten like a fallen fruit. It has the same smell as the world ruled by Melbu Frama, the wingly dictator. The world where inertia is considered to be peace and the easy path leads to de-evolution. The overture to the destruction has already begun. De-evolution. You are saying that is the reason why our magic power is deteriorating? It is not only for you winglies. It is the danger all species are facing. Now, how can we regenerate the world? You winglies are merely the 107th species. The Great Will, the Creator Soa, prepared the last, the 108th species. The last species is the last god which will regenerate the world and lead us to Utopia. Whoa! Count 108 years and when the moon that never sets glares red, the moon child descends to the earth and shall give a holy blessing to the world. The moon child of this legend is the last species. It is the god that gives holy bliss to the world. That's not true. It is the truth. Then why does the black monster continue to kill the moon child? Rose, you could save everything by saying the truth right now. That the moon... Mm, I gotta spoil it. You could save the entire world right here, right now. That devil wants to stop the evolution after imagining himself scorched to death by the blessed light brought by the last species. Lloyd, what is the relationship between the divine moon objects you have been pursuing and the birth of the moon child? The ancient winglies feared their status as the supreme species would end and sealed up the 108th species. The keys to dissolving the signet are the gem, dagger, and mirror named after the moon. You were going to release the moon child, in other words, the god, using the divine moon objects. I don't know. I, if I don't do it, someone else will. Even the last god cannot escape from the fate determined by Soa. That's all that I wanted to tell you. The rest will be told by Diaz. If you desire a utopia, why did you take Shanna away? What is Shanna to you? All the truth will be told in Velweb. Now, did we get rested up? I forget. Hello, Maru. Dart! The blizzard is over! Did we get rested up? Yes, we did! Now, there's a little mini-game that leads to a secret area. Let's see if I can remember this.
<laughs> Dancer's ring. Now, as you saw, there was another treasure chest. And I'll show you how to get it. It depends on which side of the sign you go down on. Hey, it's your fault, Dart. You slipped and we all ended up in here. Oh? These are the ancient characters of the Winglies. Let me read it. Winglies, ouch, moss. <laughs> well done, Maru. Oops. It's too hard to read. You mean you don't know all the words. Can you do better than that? There are some human characters, too. Gigantos, too. I was bad at the classics. Can you read some of them, Rose? She can read all of them, I would imagine. <laughs> the cursed land where the decline of the Winglies began. Nobody is allowed to touch. Winglies, ouch, in touch. The door. The judge, no moss. Of the court of Xenobatus. See? Moss. So Maru did read every... She did, she did read it. She just didn't know all the characters except... Omos should have been at least... I don't know. Should have been able to, you know. I don't know. Yes, you know, she just read what she thought made sense. Good job, Maru. Xenobatos. It was one of the most prosperous cities of the ancient Winglies. It's over there? No. If my memory is correct, over there should be Fort Magrad. Fort Magrad is a side quest area that I am not quite ready to go into. I still need one more item. But Velweb is up there. Let's go back quickly. Okay. <clears throat> and the dancer's ring is the same as the bandit's ring, but for girl characters. That should have been quite clear. Um, We're going to get that treasure chest. Now, I... Yeah. Yeah, we're going to get in now. It's another repeat item. The magic shield. Also, we're facing against Mr. Bunes. Also, yes, Maru is now going to be in the party pretty much all the time outside of boss fights now. Yes. Even though I don't like using Maru as much, uh, yeah. Maru's gonna be in the party outside of boss fights for essentially the rest of the game. Pretty soon, Hashel will also be switched in. As soon as Kongo manages to get up to Gets his addition done and up to Dragoon level 5. Yes. Go. That counter is going to keep on killing me, isn't it? I wish I could have gotten this video out before um, I went on my vacation so I could have done all this grinding while on vacation. Instead, as soon as I'm done recording my second video of the day, I'm going to, well, you know what? I'm going to record three videos today. Kind of. Mmm. 
because I'm going to record while doing all my grinding. And st boot up for every um, time I get a level up kind of thing. Yes. Unpause every time I get a level up. Maybe I should wait for tomorrow for that. Yeah, I probably will. Be a long video. A long recording session, I should say. Not a long video. Anything. This is going to be the long video. wonder how Maru's Double Smack Edition is going. Aw, oh, fooey. Don't even know what's screwing me up with that edition right now. Let's see if I remember this. <laughs> hey, I remembered! The magic shield! Yay! Oop. I'll show you what happens if you don't manage to get that last X button press um, in fall. Dart just slides on his butt, and that's all that happens. I'll just say that now, but... Mm. Figured I might as well say it. Oh. I'll be back to Fort McGrad. Probably that's where I'll end off today's episode, actually. Oops, I completely forgot to end pause between battles, but whatever. Uh -huh. Hmm. I'm going to start using speed up with Maru, using it on Dart every battle. Also, it looks like I'll be heading back to the resting point after this battle. Get Maru's health. That's why I don't like using Maru. She's got such little health. Mm. And keep in mind, I do have the dragon helm on it. Well, now I'm getting moon strike down. So that's good. I really wish this game received a remake. Um, but kept the combat style, obviously. Like, that's one thing that I've... Now that I've officially seen something about Final Fantasy VII Remake, I've stayed away from it because I haven't been interested in. But I hate the look of the combat. Like, what is that shit? Give me turn-based in an RPG, or it's not an RPG. 
in my opinion. I know, I'm in a minority. But I want a good turn-based RPG, like uh, Dragon Quest XI and Echoes of an Elusive Age. Anyways, here we are at the capital city, Velweb. The Seven Towers? Is Diaz waiting for us somewhere in there? That is the Tower of the Seven Dragoons. The throne of the Holy Emperor is underneath there. We are standing at the legendary place where humans began their liberation. I wonder if it is an abominable place as well. We think too much. It's the same as Cadessa, isn't it? When you drag the past around, you cannot walk anywhere. It is true, Meru. The forbidden land that was the royal capital of the Winglies. And this Velweb is a mere historic ruin. Yes. We can do nothing but settle for the present. Hey, let's continue on. Square button does nothing in this game, by the way. Ever. Well, actually, no, it does. Right, it actually does do something. Uh, well, on, you know, when you're on the Queen Fury, it allows you to enter the Queen Fury, and then a little bit later, it allows you to summon a... Well, this game's... Airship. Quotation marks. Not spoiling that, but... Also, the Terminator! Come on! He's so perfect! Come on! I'm Arnold! I know! I don't have the base! Arnold Schwarzenegger! Oh, shoot. <laughs> I was trying to avoid saying it that way. Mm. The best Arnold impression ever, but I know it's not the best actually. I just really like doing it. Oh no! Oh no! It's on dark. Every time I get into a fight with these guys, I got to throw the Arnold impression. It's the impression of the Arnold. The only Arnold. Also, there's a witch! And the witch! That sounds like something Arnold would say. I don't know. Let's hope I don't run into the other enemy that has. <laughs> that can spawn alongside the Terminator. Uh, well, I, I wanna. I wanna fight it at one point, but I hope I don't run into it. <laughs> He's, I just said that I would do the Arnold's voice again if, uh, yeah, well, I had to say I have a mental yeah. Let's see what this fight is. Oh no! It's the Terminator joined by Discount Wallies! But this actually came out before Wallies, so what is it? It's the Spring Hitter! Actually, you really want to attack the Spring Hitter. They have a stealing ability that will take... It will take one of the items from your inventory. If you don't kill it quick enough. I killed the Spring Hitter! Do it now! Before it can steal your items! I was actually told in a YouTube video I watched that that wasn't actually properly programmed. And... 
It actually just steals a certain amount of gold if it does succeed or something. And it cannot steal your repeatable items, so if you have a ton of repeatable items, chances are it will... I don't know how it works exactly. Oh shoot, I'm still on the final hit. I got something in my eye. Oh no, Maru! Well, thank you. <laughs> For the healing fog, I can definitely use that right now. Okay, and as you can see, the merchants, Primero and Takero, I believe, if I remember correctly. Or no, wasn't the last one Takero? Oh, this is, yeah, I was right, Primero and Takero. Brother, there are no customers here. I, no, I'm, I'm not doubting you. You would, though. Don't worry. Believe me, there are always customers, even in this kind of place. Okay, I believe you, brother. Oh. You're right, brother. There are really customers. It's all due to the skills in my passionate merchant soul. You have to learn from this. I sell weapons. I sell items. We are peddlers. It must be fated that we would meet here. Why don't you take your chance to buy something? Let me thank you in advance. Now, this guy has the Giganto Ring. See how good that would be for Maru. I have the gold. I don't usually buy it. Mm. Fine. The energy girdle. I think that's worth it. Especially because of the 50% more SP. And the partisan. Probably going to regret, um, buying the Giganto Ring later, but right now I'm happy with my decision. Segundo and Quattro have a business somewhere else. If you find them, please buy something from them. Yeah, those are the merchants we met up in the snowfield. Not snowfield, Cashew Glacier. Oh, see, I'm allowing this video to run a little bit long. <laughs> Dart. Look at that huge battery. Battery is in things that you use to power things, or battery is in, like, uh, something you use to bat at something, like a battering ram. Humans shot huge arrows from there, aiming at the Tower of Flanville. Back then, humans thought this way, that the arrow would not only shear the darkness that covers the earth, but also shear their corrupt hearts, corrupted hearts, which were accustomed to being ruled. Why are you suddenly starting to say this? I don't know. I still cannot tell. But if we meet the guy who claims he is Diaz, I think we can find out the reason. I'm speaking nonsense again. Let's keep going. A hero from history is waiting for us. 
We're getting about, about to get a real interesting scene on the next screen, trust me. I need to, I'll get into this battle quickly. Let's see what we got. These guys. Um, Maximum Volts. Also Frankenstein's monster. Um, they're really hurting Meru. The Maximum Volt is a very unique enemy. For the simple fact of... I'll tell you after I can put in strike. Um, if you get Hashel's next weapon, which is the Thunder Fist, and come back to Velweb, he will deal zero damage to the maximum volt with every attack. Yes, we use these guys absorb electricity. Just thought I'd let you know about that. Well, I guess that's not makes the enemy unique. It makes the situation unique, but still. Man, I really need to blow my nose. I'm all stuffy. Surely, it's been a while. I have been waiting for you. You are Shirley. Why, why are you here? You ascended to heaven, I thought. Before that, I had something I had to take care of here in Velweb. I couldn't leave the trapped souls alone in this world. Are you talking about... Yes, the four souls of the dragoons who lost their lives during the dragon campaign. Their souls were drawn to Mayfill, the gate of the inferno, from which you can never return. Is requesting the souls of the dragoons. The Death City Mayfill? I thought it was destroyed. I don't know how, but it is true that the gate of the inferno is open. Rose, I made their souls inert and anchored them in this place, but there is a limit to my power. After you meet Diaz, please visit this place again and lead their souls to heaven. The souls of the Dragoon? Oh, there. I read that in Dart's voice. The souls of the Dragoons are wandering somewhere in the towers. But we have to take care of something else now. Let's go find Diaz. But first, there is something up in the towers that we need to take care of. We cannot um, save the souls of the Dragoons yet. And interestingly enough, originally, you would also have to have saved Shirley's soul, and she would have been in this room, blocking your path to this. There's a small hole in the middle of the relief. This must have come off from here. Stardust. 
This is a divine tree. Have humans worshipped the divine tree since the age of the dragon campaign? Yes. Um, but yeah, originally, um, Shirley would have been blocking your path to that final, that stardust. And that would have been the final stardust that would have made it, and Shirley would only combat you after you had finished off the other souls, making it so you had to do the freeing the, div the, the dragoon souls before doing the quest with the stardust. Which is too bad they had to take the fight with Shirley out for it being too difficult. Uh, there is a reason I'll go into it while after this fight. But yeah, uh, the fight against Shirley was deemed too difficult because of all the healing magic. Yeah, um... Because... Shirley has the same mad access to the same... The Shirley boss fight would have had the same access to the magic spells that Miranda and Shanna wheel have wielded. That's kind of the whole thing. So, yeah, that would have been a little bit broken. Though, though the fight is still fully programmed into the game, and, of course, hackers have managed to restore it, and it is possible to beat. It's not like they accidentally made a fight that was impossible to beat. It just took a lot of grinding. And and had Shirley been left in as a boss fight in the uh, Freeing the Dragoon Souls side quest, it would have easily taken... T take it over as the hardest optional boss in the game. And at least that's what I that's what I think. I'm not 100% certain on that. Anyways, back to pop. Sorry, we're into a rant there. Um, ooh. And now I'm um, sure they should appear once we get down here and heal us. After you meet Diaz, please visit this place again and lead their souls to heaven. There we go, we're healed. And when we come back to fight the Dragoon side quest, every time you go back to that screen, on, to the, you know, to that part of the screen, of that particular screen, you will be healed. For full. That's making it so the Dragoon side quest is really quite nothing. Badly. Ooh, the succubus. Yeah, I've played this game a lot to the point where I can remember most enemy names. Me. I didn't get to see much of the succubus. But, uh, yeah, it has bewitchment. Who would have guessed? treasure on this part this area i think either there it's that very bottom one no it's this one rose's hairband take a wild guess who which character could equip that now this was the whole reason why i didn't go to my grad yet Because of her hairband. 
Her hairband avoids instant death. <laughs> which will make two, which since we have both talismans and now Rose's hairband, that will make two boss fights at, well, the optional boss fight in Magrad and a boss fight even later in the game, a piece of cake. Anyways, after I pick up this treasure, I'm going to run all the way back to the snowfield. Oh, yeah. Yes. Gush. Tush. Gush. Gush. Only stopping, of course, if a level up happens. Yeah, okay. Well, there was a level up. Anyways, um, in this box, we get a spirit potion. I'll use that on Kongle. Just to speed up the process of him getting to Dragoon level 5. Anyways, meet you back in the snow field. Singular Terminator. <laughs> Dart leveled up. Interesting. <laughs> Nine, 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 nine. Four nines. Nine, 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 nine. <laughs> Just so I show you what the platinum collar does. Yeah, that's what happens. Anyways, let's head over to Fort McGrad. This is a fun scene with Maru. One of the few scenes I think actually is kind of fun with Maru. Yoo-hoo, Dart! Maru, you have a fiancé. I thought we have no business in here. Look at Maru. Let's give her a little break. Throw the snowball, Maru. Perfect job. You said it is Fort McGrad. Is this one of the Wingley's ruins, too? No. It belonged to humans. It was the land where Diaz declared war against the Winglies, with tens of thousands of soldiers and seven dragoons. I heard about it. Dart, let's keep going. <laughs> yeah. Um, the throwing of the snowball thing. That's one thing that makes Maru alright, because I think the kid and all of us can agree that throwing a snowball is one of the few things that unites all species. <laughs> and, you know, like, that's a joke, but you know what I mean, like, all, everywhere in science, like, it, like, it doesn't matter what it is, you... It's impossible for a humanoid in any series of th anything, if they encounter snow, it's impossible not to want to make a snowball and throw it. Wow, this is one of the longest videos I've done in a while now, isn't it? Midnight Terror, that's another, that's an item that fears the enemy. Rose? Dragoons are descending here in this place again. What we desire is freedom or give us death. God bless Diaz. God bless Gloriano. I am to bring light to the human's future. I am to pass judgment on the past of the Wingleys. I am Diaz. 
God bless Diaz. God bless Gloriano. God bless Diaz. God bless Gloriano. God bless him. Blah, blah, blah. Rose, is anything wrong? No. Nothing. Let's move on. We don't need to stay here any longer. Actually, we need to go use that save point. I hope you guys don't mind this being a 50 minute video. I'm gonna try to end it as quickly as possible, but I can't forget to do one thing before I end off the video. But yeah, three good treasures. Actually, four. Four good treasures are on the very next screen for winning the optional boss here. Anyways, Dart, you need to switch back to the talisman. I guess it's only three good treasures. I mean, the fourth one is just meh. But, um, yeah. And Miranda, you also need a talisman. Rose and Miranda as the party. Now they should all have instant death protection. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, this looks like a good place to end off for today's episode. So this is the Cowardly Time Lord signing off and saying have a good day or whatever time it is wherever you are bye bye now <laughs>